Welcome, I'm Ken David Mazur, the proud new music director of the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra. We have something in store for you that is going to combine my heritage culturally together with what I've loved so much discovering in Milwaukee itself. And that is a program of Richard Wagner, Meistersinger, which is an overture that should be familiar to many people. And if it's not, that is fine also, but there's a lot for Milwaukeeans to find and identify with because this opera is about singers that are amateur singers and all, they all come from different backgrounds of craftsmanship and uh, people that work in different areas of the industry, but they have a passion for singing and have found a way to uh, do a voice competition. Uh, and so this is what opens this program. And it's followed by the great piano concerto by Robert Schumann, which was championed by his very own wife, Clara Schumann. And we are so fortunate that Friday the 13th, the first performance this weekend, is actually the 200th anniversary of Clara Schumann. And to join us this weekend to play this great work is a young, up-and-coming piano virtuoso, Nicolas Namoratze, with whom I've worked several times. And I can tell you that you're going to be witnessing uh, not just a uh, regular debut here in Milwaukee, but you're going to see something quite fantastic. You're going to see a man who is going to be playing with all of the great orchestras around the world. And you can say you were there when he made his start here in one of the great orchestras in the United States in North America. And so we are so glad that he can join us and that I can call him a good friend and collaborator already that will hopefully come back to Milwaukee many times. After the break, we go into a territory that is both old and new because we are introducing to the Milwaukee audience a German composer, Detlef Glarnert, who is from Hamburg, just like Brahms himself was from Hamburg. And he, of course, grew up with a lot of the sounds of Brahms and found a way to create a work that looks at Brahms like an old photo. In fact, he called this piece, the Brahms fantasy, the heliogravure for orchestra, which means that it's music about music. It's a piece in his own way, trying to describe an old image of Brahms. And after that, we finished the program with the magnificent Rosenkavalier Suite. This is a suite put together of all of the great tunes of the opera by Richard Strauss, which is filled with uh, beautiful melodies. It's filled with love. It's filled with uh, great epic orchestral moments and magic with this magic rose presentation that we hear in the sounds of the celesta, the harps, and the strings. It's sure to be a, a wonderful evening of music making for me the first time as the music director of this great orchestra. And I cannot wait to welcome you into the hall myself and to see you there this weekend. Looking forward.